Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. We're almost done with this colony ship. I uh, feel it, I uh, feel it in my bones. We're just about there. I went ahead and added more engines to the boosters because I was having some TWR issues. And uh, finally, uh, I changed the color of the boosters. I thought, you know, this thing's gonna, it's cheaply built, so they're not gonna spend too much time in trying to make it look good when it comes to painting the outside. So they're just going to put that protective thermal foam, which is orange in color, on the outside and call it a day, right? Uh, if, if there's any painting going on, it's it's going to be real fast and, and it's not really going to be all that <laughs> all that great looking. They just, they just need it to work. They just need it to do whatever it's supposed to do and work. Um, let's see, I tested the um, rocket in flight a couple of times, trying to get the right, hmm, the right flight path. So it's a, uh, uh, it's it looks like it's going to be about 90 meters per second before I make that uh, gravity turn, but it could change to 100 meters per second. I'm still still working on that. Also, while while I tested out the colony ship, I got it to go all the way out to. Well, I was testing out the um, the uh, blah, 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 the range of the craft, and interestingly enough, um, Kerbal Engineer sort of lied to me. <laughs> Because by the time I got out into space, I realized that I only had about 2,000 Delta V, which is more than enough. But for some reason, uh, it, I, it was just a really bad, uh, bad flight plan to begin with. I burned up most of the fuel uh, just trying to get up to speed, rather than already being uh, at the at, at speed. You know, if when you when you're when you're closer to Kerbin, you're moving so fast already, about 22 thousand meters or 2200 meters per second that when you add a thousand meters to it you're doing 3000 plus meters per second which is enough to shoot out into space and rendezvous with another planet but in this instance as you will see soon enough i was going at zero meters per second when i tried to do the burn which wasn't smart at all but i was just testing out stuff anyway um i noticed that the colony ship, even though I'm trying to go for a very, very, very cheap looking colony ship, I noticed that it didn't look, it didn't look pretty. Now, you're, you're asking, you're probably saying, well, it doesn't have to look pretty, it just has to work, right? It's a cheap, quickly built colony ship. Yes, that's true, but you know me, I like things to look aesthetically pleasing, even if they're meant to be cheap and ugly and dirty and fast. So, uh, I went back to the colony ship and I changed, I gave it some lights and an extra... Uh, bridge on the very top and you know a whole bunch of little gizmos here and there to make it look more aesthetically pleasing when it comes to a, uh, a well a, a quickly built slapped together vessel. I also changed the fairing since the solid cylindrical long tubing was looking a little uh, suggestive so yeah I, I switched that up a little bit to make it more look a look a little bit more like a missile rather than a, a giant uh, thing, yeah.
Yeah, so that's where we're at so far. So it's looking really good, and everything's coming together just nice. The only thing it needs now is a name, and I think I put out a, uh, I, I put out a, um, uh, what the hell is it called? I put out like an announcement uh, not too not too long ago, uh, asking people about the name, and I have a cu I had a couple of name suggestions, but you can go ahead and put name suggestions down either in the announcement or. Um, the community announcement, I mean, in the, uh, underneath the community tab on my channel. Or you can put one under, under here. I'm going to, you know, of course I read all your comments. So if you have a name to suggest, then um, definitely give me your opinion on that. Okay, so I'm going to leave you guys with uh, some footage. And uh, hopefully you'll have fun. Uh, bleh, man, I'm tired. Hopefully you'll have fun watching that. And like I said, it's any day now. We're gonna get started with this with this mini series. Um, like I said before, somebody also mentioned about getting uh, subscriber uh, ships for like lost colonies and stuff. So that's definitely gonna be a thing. Not too sure how I'm gonna do that. Although I do have a Google email, you can find it in channel. It's been there forever, and I guess you could send me um, either pictures or or uh, a download link for your craft file uh, using that uh, particular method. But I'll, fi I'll figure something out. I used to have a Discord back in the day. But like I said, before the uh, Discord drove me to uh, lose all my hair. Pull out all my hair. It, it made me crazy. I nearly lost it trying to keep control of everything and, and that at the same time. So Discord really burnt me out hard. If I ever make another Discord, it'll be 100% craft files and that's it. So I might do that. But like I said, I'm not going to police over it. I'm not going to do anything over it. It would, it would be just for like that kind of file download stuff. Uh, you, wouldn't, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to talk in it or anything. It's just 100% file sharing and that's it. But all right. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I am Veos. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.